Welcome to this walkthrough of Experience 34 Browser History with Bootstrap 5. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I'm going to start my timer. I want to create a branch off of the Browser History repo. Here's my thing. Create a new branch. I've done this a couple times. 4. Create my branch. I want to publish my branch. I want to open finish open in IntelliJ here's my thing let's see that so this is the three column version now I need to load the bootstrap stuff so go there copy the bootstrap it goes before the style.css we don't need the Google font and we want to clear out the style.css so let's see what happened we're all black browsers okay back added that so we need we want to convert the nav bar to a nav bar expanded it's small nav bar dark so it's dark fixed top so it stays at the top and it's back nav bg dark index so this is our nav bar Oops. and that's going to be at the top so i want to move my history of browsers down Out of here. I don't need my UL. It'll just be a links. And I've got my fixed top, but my things, A, they're not white, and they're all smacked together. So I want to actually wrap them. Rat tat in a div class. It's a container. Fluid. So it goes all the way to the edges. Deflex. So it can flex, and I want to justify the content evenly. There's my other div. So now uh, that goes all the way across, and they're evenly distributed in there. But these aren't the A's. I want to actually create nav links so class nav dash link so they're actual bootstrap nav links and they'll be treated that way and then I need a style my a dot nav link color make it white and I've got my nav links and they're white what else do we do so we got that pages title font color is black the other sections are blue figure out the hexadecimal code blue we can go back to that so we want to wrap the rest of the page in a container. So we want to do the rest of the page in a container. All the way down to the div. Propeller option J or control alt J I believe on Windows. 
wraps around with a tag div class container to give us a little bit of the font, you know, the margins on the left and the right. So we, we've got our margin on the left and the right from the container, but we need, because it's a fixed top, the code goes behind it. So we need to push that introduction or the first header down. So class, we want a P top, padding top, and we want a fair amount, so let's use five. And see how it pushes the history of browsers down so it's now visible when we scroll. So that's, that's great. Okay, so now we want to get, we want to wrap our three browsers, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome, in columns using Bootstrap. So we want to wrap all three of them in a row. Again, it's around with a tag, so it's a div class row. And so now, this is now a column or a call. And this is a call. And this is a call. So I've got my three columns, but now I want to float these images so that the text wraps around them. So now my image needs a class. And it's float start. that's what the float start and where's my other image okay and lastly so now we've got a wrap And other than the color of the text, let's make our H1 H1 and H2 is going to be too bright. Better. Okay. Stop my timer. Finish this in eight minutes, 27 seconds. And it looks pretty good. And now notice, again, notice how simple our styling is. It's just applying the bootstrap classes to our divs and our images and things to get the behavior that we want instead of having to write our own style.css. Thank you very much.